Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, Pillowism. Uh, we're doing week one for Yugi Budget. Uh, I'm also doing this with a good friend. His name is Pokestuck. He'll be in the description below in the top, top right here. Uh, you'll be able to see him. He's also doing this series with me, but he's more focused on streaming and uh, maybe some future uh, Digimon content. But we'll start off with our $20 budget here, starting off with um, Pot of Duality. Allows us to search the top three. Uh, we're usually gonna discard the uh, the Cyber Darks to search uh, the normal summon Cyber Dark, and then you just normal summon and uh, hopefully <laughs> survive <laughs> until the next turn. So one of those, one Shadal Schism. This was two dollars uh, when the Mega Tins were first released. I bought it at ten. Should have waited a little bit, but it is what it is. So now. Summon limit. Summon limit is very important mainly because I can't get the graveyard set up for my fusion monsters I can't so go into the extra deck as often as other decks can So I'm gonna have to slow my opponent down Set up my graveyard two of there can only be one Also another way to slow my opponent down until I can get my fusion materials in the grave or on the field so I can fusion summon also, uh, yeah, these are the floodgates to slow the game down, and two ghost ogres. So, like, these cards allow me to interact during my opponent's turn, unless somehow, if I can get a fusion summon, say, uh, cyber dark, uh, cyber darkness dragon. That's probably, like, these are, like, the only six interactions I really have with my opponent during their turn. These give me the chance to survive and not get OTK'd. Um, Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit, destroy their monster before they can attack me, or if they activate like an effect, I can stop it. Uh, and then for the rest of the budget, we have the extra deck setup. Of course, for the Shadal Schism, the Shadal package, the uh, app cologne to send, to search Schism and send one from your hand. So I can discard a Cyber, Cyber Dark Brick, like uh, a Keel, um, edge and horn. I can set up the graveyard for the fusion summon with the power bond play, Winda, and construct to top off the Shadal package. Psy Frame Lord Omega. You can recycle like anything in the grave basically. It's free. It's nice. Um, you can shuffle back your fusion spells. Very nice. You can recycle overload fusion. Psy Gear was like 30 cents. Psy Frame was like two dollars i got it from an independent seller so the price was like way lower um but tcg player said it was five uh and the camera tech fortress dragon to finish off our twenty dollars budget this week we'll see how it goes i think it's gonna be all right uh hopefully i can get in some games but we'll get into the deck right now gonna go for the three three edge because like this one can attack directly you don't have to like swing into your opponent's monster to get your equip effects and um you do a lot more damage that way with uh with the cyber dark monsters I'm gonna do keel and horn that's it for the normal summon cyber darks you're always gonna equip something to them and e these are like the primary key targets for uh, searching or the cards that you want to discard as well. But you mainly want to see edge to normal summon because you can attack directly like I said. Uh, the one is a Kiru, so I can use the Mega Fleet. The searchers, three cannon. Uh, he's really good. He searches the monster, like searches all the cyber dark monsters. But the main target you usually want to search for is the Chimera Tech, the new card that came out in the structure deck, um, allows you to search uh, Power Bond. It also gets rid of like a spell in your hand to search it, which is kind of sad, but more often than not, you'll probably like throw away, like if you draw into Shadal Schism, you'll probably discard the Schism to search, um, to search the Power Bond, mainly because you don't have your graveyard set up 
for it because you really have to send you have to send uh, the material from the extra deck to the graveyard. And then of course the three claw mainly because you want you want that extra deck uh, graveyard setup, especially with the uh, Shadal package. And then we do run a small Cyber Dragon setup. I really want to keep the Cyber Dragons in because of Mega Fleet. It gets rid of like um, Mechaba, other Cyber Dragon decks. Um, Cyber Dragon for the Mega Fleet and for other Cyber Dragon decks with the Fortress Dragon. Uh, and also just to link off for Seager to hopefully defend yourself. And that is all that we're running. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The last two. Attachment Cyber. Like if you open this and your Cybernetic Horizon, like you can send the Attachment Cyber and then send a, a brick. And then uh, get your actual Cyber Dark Cannon or Claw. But that is all that we are running for the monster lineup. So the three Cyber Emergencies to search core mainly. Uh, if not, you can discard this off of Chimera Tech. Or not Chimera Tech, uh, Cyber Dark Chimera, uh, to get the Power Bond Search. Uh, it's quite useful. Um, Core does get you that setup, that first turn setup, when you need it. Like you have like a lot of ways to search your Cyber Dark spell traps. A lot of ways to search the monsters as well. So a lot of ways to search. Like half of the deck, or like one fourth of the deck, is just searchers. So like it's always kind of consistent. I know for sure that Pokey does not run hand traps as well as I have, unless he spent all of it on like, I don't know, Ash Blossoms. I don't think he, he'd want to do that. But I have like a lot of ways to search um, my Cyber Dark Monsters. That's literally like half the deck already. Or like a quarter of it, or a quarter of the deck. So yeah, the 9 consistency cards. I run 2 Overload, mainly because I... I always get ashed, man. I I always get ashed. I get drolled. I this deck really loses to droll, mainly because Cybernetic Horizon in the realm and Cyber Dark Claw and Edge, Cyber Dark Cannon, they all search each other. So like, the more you keep searching, like the more opportunity that your opponent's gonna have to droll you or like Ash, uh, and Power Bond and Cyberload Fusion, the searchable Power Bond. Power Bond, yeah, you, you gotta run one. It's searchable. And Cyberload Fusion to search off of your uh, Cyber Dragon uh, core if you have both Cybernetic Horizon and Realm in hand. It's just like a easy recycle. If you banish it off of Overload, you can easily cycle it back for um, maybe an end or perhaps a Chimera Tech Overdragon. Overdragon really stole some games. But, uh,. I prefer to go into the Cyber Dark and Dragons and the uh, Cyber Darkness. And our last two spells, Cyber Dark Inferno, if they remove this, you get to search the, the fusion. Basically, you get to search the fusion spell. Uh, yeah, you basically get to search each of these, except for Power Bond. Power Bond, you have to search off Chimera, uh, Cyber Dark Chimera. And the last three uh, cards that we have in the deck are. The infinite permanence. It's too good not to run. Yeah, man. I think I think this deck should do well. You have like many searchers, bro. Many searchers. Like you're never gonna brick usually. I hope. Look at that. Look at that. So many searchers. So many. So much setup. So much setup. Let's see how much we have here. That's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I have sixteen ways to search and get my setup. Uh. It's very consistent, I'd say. It's your boy, Focus Duck, coming at you with the Hero Strike uh, deck profile. Week one for the classic Cyber Strike versus uh, Hero Strike. So, right now we got week one popping off with our monsters, spells, and traps. Monsters first. From the original, uh, from the original uh, Hero Strike, we got Neos, and then we added in Lair Scarab, Air Hummingbird, Aqua Dolphin. I got an extra Grand Mole from the second Hero Strike deck. I got two Glomoss, 
three Neo Space Connectors, and then Shadow Mist, Bubble Man, Avion, and Wind Karibo, all from Structure. Got three of each. Three of Her Neos, or two extra Neos. Um, actually, I will one extra Neos because I do two Structure decks, and then I just, yeah, I have some other ones. Uh, flares, two, three Flare Scarab, three Hummingbird, three Aqua Dolphin. Uh, two Grand Moles, two Glow Moss, two Neo Space Connectors for that searching. Sorry, the glare's over here. So Neo Space Connector for searching out my other Neo Spations. And we got Shadow Mist, Bubble Man, Avion, and Karibo for keeping up with the extra, or the, the other stuff in our extra deck. So that's it for the main deck monsters. Onto our spells, we have three Miracle Contacts, just so we can get that sweet fusion. Uh, two Neo Space Field spells, two Instant Neo Space Equips to keep Neos in the field. Polymer, Miracle Fusion. Uh, we still have the Mask Change, Mask Change 2, and Form Change, all to get into our Mask Heroes, but those will be going away soon-ish. Uh, hero Mask, uh, we got the usual Hero spells. Uh, Monster Reborn, Reinforcement of the Army, Warrior Turning Alive, and two Fusion Deployments. Uh, we were running two Neos Fusion spells, but they uh, rec they can only work with uh, t they only work with monsters or Neos Fusions that uh, specifically require two um, sources. And the Neos Fusions that I have currently all require three or more. Uh, so once we get uh, some two some, well, I almost said two cost, but yeah, basically two cost Neos fusions. Then we'll start, uh, uh, we'll toss in Neos fusion, so we can just instantly fuse into Neos and his other forms. And then for our traps, we're running Hero Blast, Hero Signal, Bottomless Trap Hole, and Call of the Haunted. I think these are all from Structure Deck too. Just the usual, nothing too exciting. And then for our extra deck, we have two Cosmo Neos. Two Magma Neos, and then the Contrast, Koga, Divine Wind, Dark Law, and Great Tornado. And that's it right now for the Hero, Stri uh, for the Hero Strike Week 1. Uh, upcoming, we have some other stuff coming in. Uh, I might ta uh, change the ratios on some spells, like Neo Space and Instant Neo Space. I have three of these. Um, I have some other extra stuff toss in soon, but, but when the budget allows for it. Thank you for watching, and uh, now I'll toss it back to Pillow. So game one, yeah, he tosses let's go. down uh, Prohibition, he calls that Ash Blossom, and I forgot what else he called with the other one. And Bro, Prohibition, I'm, that's nasty. Okay. Yeah, I'm not okay, sure what this card is on the top. I, don't, I'm, I can't see what I the text yeah, says. I'm not, I'm not sure either. Oof. Okay, yeah. okay, you're going for the, the classic? The classic. I, I go second. Down. Go second, yep. summon core, search out uh, realm, realm to search out more searchers, and then link off into uh, Saigur. Uh, use my extra normal summon for, what's his name, uh, edge, and equip uh, claw so I can get the uh, extra deck send. I swing, and then I send probably Apcalone or something. I'm hoping that I, okay, I send Cyber End, but I should have sent Apcalone so I can set up, uh, what's it called, the Shadal package. And then I just hit him directly for 21. And nice. I think I pass on this. This was a, like a random locals. Oh, shit. I think he's playing like Drytron or something. No, not Drytron. Uh, what's that like water archetype? Uh, Ma Mermails or whatever? Mermails, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he snipes one from my hand. He snipes the emergency. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, I think I didn't go for- oh, I flip up, there can only be one. Yeah, yeah. So that oh, stops him. okay. So I stop yeah. him right there, and then he just straight up- he just straight up passes. I activate the, the fuel spell, and I uh, use the uh, emergency, probably search out core. It better be core. Oh snap, then I send the- I, then I send the uh, Shadal. I send a... Let's call it side frame, and then shuffle back one. I shuffle. I think I shuffle back in permanence. Yeah, I shuffle back oh, in permanence. Yeah, right. Oh, he finally breaks out of my. Uh, there can only be one, but I just keep attacking him directly so that uh, I can just game him that way. He's at eighteen, and I'm still at eight thousand. 
uh, he goes for a synchro. I think that is a virtual world, which banishes everything that leaves the field. So that is quite yeah. I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Right, bro, so I can't attacks. believe he has double prohibition. I mean, it's it. He told me during this game that it was um budget crossout designator. <laughs> right, it is. It is. It is. It is. I was gonna put it in mine. Yo, <laughs> yeah, we better not put that in the video, bro. People are gonna buy it out once we said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, we gotta order it before we, we gotta. Yeah, we gotta record bro, it. We gotta buy it for before the exposing, episode. Exposing the secret gold cards. Yeah, bro. Oh, he's he summons a cult wing. Ah, uh, he just he just beats me up. I think <laughs> that's so sad. He banishes like everything on my field if it leaves. Macro cosmos one sided. Let's go, dude. I really hate macro cosmos, man. It's it's a it's a menace to this deck. Unless you, I play the uh, I think I play the Cyberload Fusion, which shuffles everything back. But uh, what's it called? There can only be one is really killing me right now. Dude, oh my god. Colt Wing's also a machine, I think. I'm not sure if I can Mega Fleet, but I try to. I try to really go for it. Uh, I yeah, I summon the Chimera and then he scoops. So this is uh. Oh, let's go, dude. So this is a uh, match two against uh the other guy we're competing with. The other guy featured oh, in the series. He's going heroes. Uh, I summon the Cyber Dragon, he goes first, Neo Spatian, and summons the Neos. This is only week one, so it's like very unoptimized. I go for yeah, the yeah. Cybernetic Horizon, I send the Light, and then I send the Dark, and then I add a Cyber. I go for the Core, and I send Cyber and Dragon. I uh, go for the Core, and then search Realm, Realm, to search another uh, Cyber Dark monster. Bet, easy. S straight up uh, combos, combos. I summon, I use Realm to extra normal summon the Edge and Edge to equip Claw. And I link off the Cyber Dragon and the Core to make uh, Saiger. And I think I just walk over him with this. Oh no, dude. I thought this was going to be a classic Hero vs. Saiger matchup, but obviously it's a little bit more one sided than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's totally one sided. You just walked him down. I walk over his Neo so he can't contact Fuse. Um, Whole Neos fusion is he gonna go into rainbow? No, he can't. I told him to get rainbow. He's still relatively new to the game, so I oh, okay. I wouldn't blame him if he doesn't know like how to make a good one. But he does have a mask hero deck, which is why he didn't go for the mask hero route. He went for the Neo yeah. Spatian route instead. Uh, he does have the some tornado. Mask I love in there. that. He goes for the tornado, cuts everything in half. I think. Yeah. Hundred percent, hundred percent, it does. He just walks over like one of my things. He's still deciding. He's still thinking. He's in the thinking realm. Yeah, he walks over my Seager. I take the damage. What's right. Seager's base attack? It's 21, but he cuts it down to like 1050, I think. But it would still get... You could, surely you could boost Seager quick effect by its No, um... because it has to be uh, 21. It, he cuts it in half, so I can't oh, use it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, right. Okay, so I use the Overload Fusion to get my Fusion, equip it oh, with Cyber fuck. Ends, and then... And that's yeah, I basically end oh. him right there. Uh, I go first. He makes me go first this time. Uh, usual combos with the realm, edge, and then I set up the edge with the claw, and then uh, I set up the field spell so he can't target or destroy my guy while it's equipped. Um, and I just pass it there. I set one pass. Basic uh, cyber dark combos you've seen. Going for the clutch. Okay, he's gonna pull out connector. Let's go. Connector. I infinite impermanence. Oh no! I think he scoops. <laughs> I think he scoops again. Yeah, he scoops again. Oh, oh no! I set one and then use the extra normal summon. I'm not sure what I what I just set there. <laughs> like, I had no reason to set unless it was like um hers. Uh, and then I set a face down pass. He sets two face down pass. Crazy uh, combos. What do you want about? I attacked. You're going to the crazy ass set set one pass combo. And then he right? scoops again because uh, Shadal is kind of too strong with it. Uh. Oh yeah, he he gets the roll. Yeah, uh, Rhoda, connector. 
Nitrogenic gank. Uh, he does not run the Aqua Dolphin though. Oh shit! Okay. P runs the life Here's plan. Humming. Boost. Yeah. Boost. Nice He's play. He's at ten thousand. Not a bad strategy. I drop Set turn, one and then go for the Cybernetic Horizon. Send a dark and then I send a light and then I send an end. Uh, I added the edge and then I discarded claw to search the realm and the realm to search. Okay, summon that. Bet. I swing over it. I send one. I send Aquilone and then do the combo. Aquilone to search the, uh, what's it called, the schism. And then I discard a uh, brick. I, I discarded the uh, keel, I think. Yeah. I set the schism and I uh, pass it on him. He sets one. I yeah. draw. And then I go for the OTK with the Chimera, I think. Power body. I see. I <laughs> search the power body. Oh. And I just straight up. I straight up nade him right here. I feel bad for him though. Like I feel like he needs to use all the mixture of heroes to uh, succeed on this part. And yeah, we'll see. We're we're about to go into week four on the overall series. Okay. But, so I equip it with the Cyber End Dragon, and then from here, I think yeah, I tribute it for the uh, Cyber Darkness End, and equip it with the Cyber End. I Kaiju. And so I can just get some damage in, because 10,000 is quite a lot. I cut that in half, almost. I made a misplay here, because I can only attack once with it, but I attacked twice. So I kind of made up for it right here, where I only attacked once while equipped with two things. He can make uh, attack, uh, attack uh, attacks equal to the number of things equipped to it. So right now it has like, the claw equipped to it, and then the cyber end equipped to it. He, he uses Call of the Haunted to protect himself just for a little bit. Okay. I swing over it and I choose not to attack because of the slip up uh, I made earlier. I send the, uh, during damage calculation, I send the Psy frame off of Claw and then Claw to shuffle back the horizon. Yeah. Or I'm at the Psy frame to shuffle back the horizon. He summons, he gets the Neo Space Connector for the Grand Mole. Oh, Grand Mole, let's go. But the thing is, my guy is unaffected by all activated card effects. Oh shit! What's his name? Uh, Cyber Dark and Dragon. He. The thing says, uh, unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. So he's basically unaffected by everything except for a kaiju. He does double hummingbird to gain to survive some more. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, bro, true. I skiz him right here, so I can hopefully finish him. Uh, he, he bottles his trap holes, this, uh, the Shadal, uh... What's it called? That's kinda nuts. Yeah, he bottles his trap hole, the Construct. And then I just swing over both his hummingbirds with, uh, the End Dragon. Three cards in hand, I shuffle for end the turn. little suspicious reading bro to make sure i'm not misplaying oh he took his guards off the screen oh no lightning storm in the hand that's also oh okay it was just I mean, the lightning extra storm is way over the budget <laughs> <laughs> bro i don't know man if you're cheating you're cheating you're putting in everything bro he saw that lightning hummingbird. storm in your hand bro don't even lie i saw it all right yeah and then he scoops after that after that hummingbird but yeah that's about all the games we had okay okay Forgot to show my extra deck, but that's kind of all right. Uh, Seeger, Fortress, and of course the Cyber Dragon, Cyber End with the misprint has a like slightly bluish hint to it. Personally, I like it. Um, also, uh, the Cyber Dark and Dragon, the Cyber Darkness, two of them. Uh, I also do have two Cyber Dark and Dragons. The one Cyframe Lord Omega and the Cyber the Vanilla Cyber Dark Dragon. The Chimera Tech Overdragon and of course the Shadal package. Um so for the games, I think it went alright. I felt like I could have played a lot better. Uh, I did not see Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, like, at all in my games. Um, 
kind of felt terrible. But so far, there can only be one was pretty good. Um, personally, it kind of locks me in too, but still, I feel like I should have ran more Cyber Dark, uh, Cyber Dragon Core so that I can search Overload Fusion. Because Overload Fusion came up like a lot more than I thought it would. Uh, it shuffles back and recycles your cyber, uh, your cyber monsters. It's very nice. Usually I'd use this to go into Chimera Tech Over Dragon because it's like so generic. Um, it's also an OTK machine, so what can you do about it? <laughs> but overall, it did feel pretty good to play it. I did not see a lot of duality at all today. Uh, quite sad. Should all schism? <sighs> I should have played this card a lot better. I should have played this card a lot better. I could have won game two against the um, Erastic guy, the the water Gundam dude. But um, yeah, I should have uh, declared this at the end of main phase because uh, it does not. You can't activate it in um, in battle phase, so that's kind of sad. Summon limit. It it did. I did something. It like I couldn't do that much, man. Like I I really couldn't. Um. So far, no one has popped my Cyber Dark Inferno, so that is quite sad. Uh. I did not get to search a fusion spell. Did not get to search cyberload fusion. Did not get to search overload fusion. Quite sad. Um, but really the main, the key cards right now are Realm, Horizon, Core, Cannon, Edge, uh, and of course Claw. Those are like the really like the play starters here for me. And Chimera, but. The kaiju did nothing. Like, I couldn't... There's no way to search it, and I play one of it. I'm gonna remove it, like, as soon as I can. Um... Yeah, it... Yeah, I can't really do that much with it, man. Cyber Emergency did okay. But I will cut it down, mainly because... Searching Cyber Dragon Core is not that important when I have Cybernetic Horizon and Cyber Dark Realm already in hand. Um... Power bond sucks to draw, but so incredible to search. Yeah, it it's the OTK machine, it, the OTK enable that that that's the main culprit. Um, infinite and permanence, quite nice. It did it just win me it ga it won me a game it won me a game so kind of happy. Uh, Cyber Dragon hurts. Recover core didn't happen. <laughs> Wish it did though. Uh, search Cyber Dragon though, um, at least for the for the comeback play at least. Uh, attachment Cyber did nothing. Uh, did nothing. Uh, nothing did nothing. Horn. Uh, okay, it was it was all right. And Keel really really just does nothing. But yeah, there are a lot of changes I really want to make on this. Uh, for next week and from there guys i'll see you in the next yeah. round